made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Studied myself right out of the book. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. God that you all claim that you all believe in. Make us believe. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Studied myself right out of the book. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. God that you all claim that you all believe in. Make us believe. Black atheist. 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 <laughs> Black Sun in the Hizzle or Shizzle Dizzle. That's right. Oh, man. <laughs> God dang. That's right. <laughs> we got another episode of Black Atheists of Atlanta this week. Oh, let me say conversation rules the nation, and we use information to bag it up. We come from a non religious, non spiritual, basically a non spooky perspective. We got a hot one today because we got forces for and opposing. And I want to say the topic today is socialism versus communism, the difference. And we got a five five panel here today, 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 today. I want to introduce my panel. How you doing, sis? How you doing? My name is Miss Flanagan. All right. Uh, me, Yang and Krumah. Uh, local director of political education committee. My name is Mukasa Dada. I'm a Pan-Africanist, and I believe in revolution. I think that until Africa is free, none of us will be free. Mm -hmm. Black African power, a well-organized lie, defeats a disorganized truth every time. So we're going to sit back. We're going to organize the truth. We ain't going to be cutting nobody off today. All right, we're going to keep it order, and we're going to do what we're supposed to do, and I'm representing Africa. Because like the shirt say, black atheists of Atlanta, black Africans of Atlanta. Africa for the Africans. Home and abroad. Okay, so since we got such a large panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask each individual panelist a question. And like Unc said, we are not going to cut nobody off. I know it's a heated discussion, so I'm going to ask specific questions, and hopefully I can get some specific answers. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're going to start with some definitions here. Let's see. Let's start with some definitions. Let's start with, start with, and I'm going to start with uh, my brothers from the Black Liberation Army, the BLA. Hmm. Ah, you know, and we like to start with socialism. Socialism, a social system where the means of production are owned collectively by the people through the states, where, where the basis of production is for the people's welfare, not profit. The people are organized on all levels of society and play the active role in the management and decision-making process. The people's right to basic necessities of life is protected. Most social services such as education, health, and child care are free. The people are represented by a people's government who are dedicated to upholding the principles of 
society and serving the people and humanity unselfishly regardless of sacrifice and free from corruption. People work and contribute to society according to their ability and receive according to their needs and conditions. There is no ruling class nor oppress, no huge corporations or private ownership of means of production, industry, social service, etc. A society where the profit motive has been replaced with a concern of mankind. And womankind. That's right, and womankind. Thank you, Baba Mukasa. Now I'm gonna define communism. What dictionary are you using? I'm using the Black Liberation Army Political Dictionary. One that comes from us. That's right, one that comes from us. Yes. Oh, we're gonna make up a definition. Right. Okay, here's communism. <laughs> Basically, the black nationalist dictionary, meaning all the black nationalists agreed on this. Yeah, really so if you're not agreeing on this, you're not agreeing with the black nationalists. You don't have to be a black nationalist. I thought it sounded too good to be true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I got it now. now I got it. Now, now, now. Revolutionaries, revolutionaries around the world right. oh. agree with that. That's yeah. right. Black yeah, around the world. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Black, brown, yellow, whatever. Okay. Yeah. People around the world practice socialism. That's right. Okay, it's beautiful. All right, so we need to define <laughs> Communism, social <laughs> system based on collective ownership of the means of production, the absence of class as well as absence of any state government control. So, the system we live in is capitalism. Define capitalism. Oh, let's define capitalism. Oh, let's do that. Thank you, Mukasa. Two opposing. Let's do that because I want. I want. I dare somebody on this panel to defend capitalism. And this is the definition of capitalism, an economic system in which the means of production are privately owned and organized to accumulate profits within a market framework in which labor is provided by waged workers. Why did you get so excited about that definition? That's a, that's it got a, you motivated. I think he's a true capitalist at heart. He just don't know it yet. But anyway. Well, I'm okay. not the one percent, mm -hmm. darling. Okay. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Oh, I'm just I'm messing go with ahead. Like, so, you know, ladies first. Oh, I get to go first. Sister Pam, yeah. What's your question? My question is. Uh, Do I believe in socialism, capitalism, or communism? Well, we, we, we're trying to, right, right now, what we're trying to do is get the difference between socialism and communism. But, I mean, I remember we had a discussion, and you were talking about how, I mean, capitalism is so wonderful. You know. Well, because I believe in the free mind, and I remember when you first uh, started out talking about, we're not talking about anything spiritual. That's the only framework I can come from, okay. first and foremost. Uh, and since I am yeah, on we a do panel. Have a, no fly zone here, but okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I am on a panelist with atheists who don't believe in God, so everything I'm going to come from is going to come from that perspective and that perspective only, not in a debate format. But okay. because of this unlimited force that I can't see, uh -huh. therefore it gives me the belief system to know that I can do all things. I'm not talking about impossible things like jumping off of a cliff and flying. You know, natural things that my in infinite mind can create. And because I can create infinitely, mm -hmm. it would be almost impossible for me to subject myself to a form of government that says I can only do this much and get paid for this much. Because in the, in the system of socialism, mm -hmm. no matter how hard I work, if he works just a little bit and you work just a little bit, we're going to get the same wages. Period. Because you, you can hold on, hold on, hold up. You know I'm going to eat you up though. You don't get a chance to eat me up because he's going to ask you the next question. I'm, no, 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 no. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna address okay. what you're okay. saying. Okay, first of, all, one, first of all, what was your main question again? My main question is, I mean... Well, I don't believe in socialism. I believe in, in some... Yes, I believe in capitalism. So you believe in and the 1% getting all the profit. On. No, 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 no. Not the 1% getting all the profit. The problem with capitalism is it's greed. That's where, the, that's where the problem comes in at. Okay. But you still have to give other individuals an opportunity to try to shoot for the pie. See, the problem is in America, we have uh, demoralized individuals. We have created a mindset of right. laziness and uneducation. Wow. I mean, we all understand that. We understand that. But once again, when you really understand who you are in God, you will seek for these things that will allow you to reach your potential. I mean, realistically, come on. I'm going to stop right there for right now, okay. but I'm going to go back right. to that. Brother, I'm going to go back to that. 
would you like to respond uh, to that? Right yeah, there? I like your dress, and I'm just teasing about eating. I don't eat anyone up. Um, you know, first, this this shows that I understand that the boogeyman, the, what was it, the McCarthy era? Yes, with the yes, whole McCarthy. The communist scare thing yes. has really worked. Yes, it we has. We are really afraid of the word socialism and communism. Yes, when the root words of socialism is to socialize, and the root word of communism is to have that common interest. That's or right. some things in common. First, let me tell you this. Under socialism, there is no such thing as you're going to labor hard and not get the fruits of your labor. Socialism is exactly that. You're getting the fruits of your labor. Under capitalism, is just for instance, if I work at a Nike factory. Yes. Under capitalism, a few percent have said that my labor is only worth $7 an hour. That's First right. of all, they yeah. have only said that's slave wages. That's They've only said that I'm worth $7 an hour. And I work eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, and still can't afford the product that my hands produce. That's mm. agreeable. You know what I'm saying? Because the surplus and the, and the, and the extra goes to private ownership. Mm -hmm. Now, in a socialist system, it's saying this. It's saying that I'm working. Not only do I get the product that I produce, but the surplus goes back into the machinery or whatever. And if, and, and if, it, if the surplus goes into making more machines, like in a capitalist country, when they make more machines, it hinders them because they have, they have to meet a supply and demand thing. That's right. So they have to lay people off. They have to uh, do certain downsize. things. Downsize. Right, downsize, just like I got here. Like in 2007, Circuit City had 46,000 workers. In April of 2007, they laid off 3,400 mm. because they said they paid too much. Wow. Because they was expecting a 10% gross, and they only made 8%. Wow. They only made 8% profit, so they laid 3,400 people off. So we're saying, like, in socialism, with all the extra, if we can produce more, that frees the human labor up for schools, for uh, health, education, and everything, because we're not tied up into the labor issue. It's the capitalism that sells us the dreams that if we work hard, if we do this, do that, then we can be of that percentage. But really what it is, and especially for Africans, Capitalism needs you because they need the new nigga. They need the consumer. They need you not to take thought where you spend your dollar. And in my conclusion, because I'm going to be brief, we have a panel. It's just like every people practice nationalism. Right. You go to the store, you look at the Hindu. If the Hindu thought that Coca-Cola was sending money over to uh, do something in India, then they wouldn't buy Coca-Cola. That's right. The Negro will find out that Goodyear or Firestone is exploiting the Congo and, and, and doing things in the Congo for the rubber plant and not give thought to his dollar and go buy 20 inch rims and big tires from Firestone. That's right. So what we're saying is until we nationalize, until we really understand the whole concept of nationalizing and eventually moving to a socialist understanding that our dollar will still be unaccounted and you will still have immigrants who come over here who we outnumber physically and out resource economically in other ways getting money off us because we are untapped market and an unorganized uh, untapped market of resources and unorganized resources man that's right that's right and you talked about the new niggers well the new niggers have to be the mexicans god yeah. damn it but uh they were well they were they were okay they understand nationalism now that's right they have to reckon with our latino brothers that's and right that's right Yo, now they got to reckon with them ukasa now i know you represent communism uh well or you want to give us a difference? I know you want to give. Right. I'll go back to Africa. Okay. And that Africa is the richest continent in the world. That's right. And the people of Africa are the poorest people in the world. Mm. And it, uh, it's How? often said that Africa is poor, uh, but Africa is not poor. That's nonsense. Africans are poor because they've been exploited and robbed for 500 years by companies from Europe and other places in the world that invaded Africa, and they take our diamonds, gold, oil, rubber, zinc, tea, copper, pearl, cobalt, and millions of other resources, and these resources go to these big companies, and the big companies get richer and richer and richer, and the masses of the people where these resources come from get poor and poor and poor. That's right. And then uh, they set up this capitalistic system mm -hmm. where two people are always found under capitalism. One, slave and a slave master. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oppressed and the oppressor. A have and a have not. And that is capitalism. Capitalism, the masses tore and do the labor like in slavery and don't get nothing for it. 
and uh, uh, for their labor, somebody else benefits from that labor. But when you come to communism and socialism, these are ideologies that says that people deserve everything, like we have in Cuba and other places in the world that's moving toward that socialism, mm -hmm. where everybody get free education. If you live in a house that is your house, everybody get allotments of food, enough healthy food, everybody get medicine and medical care, mm -hmm. uh, ain't no light bill, gas bill, water bill, and the things that you need to live on daily, there's no price and no choice for them under a social economic system. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about class struggle. Mm -hmm. The few people that take guns and bombs and steal everything from the masses of the people, and the masses of the people that get organized and they fight to bring take control where they can feed, clothe all the people mm -hmm. and create and, 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 and create human happiness and get rid of debt and all those things that put us in slavery. And finally, the one thing that capitalism does, it promotes racism mm. and it promotes it promotes uh, mysticism. Mm. And they give us these theories or even they re promote religion mm -hmm. in a way that we have on mysticism and we have to sit back and wait on God to come solve our problems mm -hmm. and think that the problem is just gonna be solved through some agmosis and whatever. <laughs> but under socialism, we sign, it's a scientific system mm -hmm. where the people come together and put their minds together, educate the people to their extreme greatness and solve the social, economic, and political problems that the people face today. Now, let, let me just say on record, uh, your grandson is becoming a doctor for my free. My son. Your my son, I'm sorry, my son, my, son, my mistake. And I hope you give me about 50 grandchildren. <laughs> um, right. Uh, he's in Cuba, and he's under the great government of Cuba, the uh, Cuban government, the yes. Cuban Communist Party, great men like Fidel Castro, Rao, and all the people that participated in the Cuban Revolution, okay. that defeated America in Cuba, defeated capitalism in Cuba, and in Cuba, everybody owned their own house, ain't no light bill, gas bill, water bill, uh, okay. education is free, all medicine is free, the most okay. healthy people in the world, and they don't let one person get money or Kroger and all of them. They get rid of all the big companies and all the profits that they make. The government makes sure it go back where the masses of the people will benefit from it and enjoy the fruits of their labor and enjoy okay. the country. So socialism is the economic system okay. that serves the people. Now, Brother Unk. I ain't asking no questions. I ain't on the panel. The question is, your grandson better make sure them credits transfer over here. Your son better make sure them credits transfer. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got to keep, keep, keep order keep it, on the panel. On. No, 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 no. I don't know what you're talking about, Black. Let me get into this real quick. Just on clarification. All right, we about to go haywire now. Because I'm going to broke the, you know, everybody in order. And we'll be very calm. Okay. Just a clarification. My son, it's an agreement between the United States and Cuba. It was set up by uh, Benny Thompson, a congressman from Mississippi. Okay. He was in Cuba, and Cuba showed him, took him to a school where they had thousands, over 16,000 people from all over the world mm -hmm. studying medicine free and go back to their country and, and study medicine. He okay. asked Castro and asked Fidel for a few scholarships for the state of Mississippi, mm -hmm. and Fidel said, no, we'll do better than that. We, instead of giving you two or three scholarships, we'll give you 500 for black people in the United States or anybody in the United States to come here, right. study medicine, and go back to the United States and study medicine in the community. Glad and he came well, back, okay. Hold on. he came back and he worked it out in Congress. And now uh, my son is uh, the, it's an exchange program between the government and the United States and Cuba. Hmm. He's allowed to go to Cuba, okay. study medicine, and come back here and practice medicine. And right now he's back in the United States and he's okay. at a school in, um, in uh, uh, Illinois where he's studying the medical board test okay. and he would come back, take the medical board test here and when he take the medical board okay, let me uh, say here, this. he would be a doctor and there are other doctors who have finished medical school in Cuba that are now practicing medicine what? in the United States. Can I, can I say something? Can't skip times. 
Okay. Okay, well, let me let me just say this, but you but you broke the rule too. Right. Right, right, right. Well, I have a question. Okay, all right, everybody, all right, let's get started. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They gotta start all over again. Hold on, hold on. They do what they want to do. We need some order. My old question to like what you're saying, if you better hope it's transferred, his credit's transferred so he can't. Because they don't play fit, because they don't play fit. Okay, That was my point. I wasn't trying to be against him. I'm saying they don't play fit. Not saying they medicine even better. That's not my point. That's my whole point. I mean, that's that's my whole point of of the capitalist mindset because naturally first thing we think about he better come over so he can practice medicine and get paid mm -hmm. but the whole point of going to a rev a, com a revolutionary communist place to learn the message is to come back and to help the people you know what i'm saying it, it's not about to come and get a capitalist paycheck you know we're looking to those revolutionary countries to teach us those technical skills whether it be medicine fighting that's right you know whatever um, building cars bombs whatever it may be to come back to empower us as a um a scattered nation you know what I'm saying? To, to empower a disempowered people. You talk short. That's one question. Wow. Wow. Hold on. 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 We're showing economical structures. Now, if anybody on the panel has a better economical structure, please show it yeah, because we're doing it. it's definitely not capitalism. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it right now. Okay. Now, okay, so so the elder understands I wasn't disrespecting the no, son. I was no simply problem. saying they don't play fair. Right. That's my point. And you should never just practice medicine to come to the United States. You should always go help your people. Mm -hmm. I always say whenever you get over here, you need to go and do some work in Africa. I always say that. No so I'm saying under okay. support from the British right, initiative uh, okay, of Portugal, Arnaman von Biswick, German chancellor, called the representative of Australia, Hungary, Belgium, Denmark, France, United Kingdom, Italy, uh, Netherlands, Portland, Russia, Spain, Sweden, Norway, Union until 1905, the Ottoman Empire and the United States to take part in the Berlin Conference to work out the policies. I just named Russia. I just named a lot of places, European nations that carved up Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, my starting point is this. If I understand that Europeans have carved up Africa, no matter what system they practice, mm -hmm. whatever the system was didn't stop them from carving up Africa. Right. It didn't have in it something that would say, hey, you should let them people do what they need to do. It didn't have that in them, right. right? And so my point is, how now can I run from one system of, like you say, capitalism is slavery. Mm -hmm. right. we, we know that, mm -hmm. got the right. book. Mm -hmm. We understand, for me then, I understand that uh, Stalinism, uh, um, socialism, right? Mm -hmm. All these things, Russianisms, Chinanisms, right? At the end of the day, they won't kill us with that. I get that. They're not worried about us and our well-being. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. And so my point is clear. We can't run from one system, right, mm -hmm. to another system. They're both fighting over who's going to get our spoils. Exactly. Okay, but me, you're, I'm sorry. Okay, no, this, this is for you, Yanga, mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people fail to understand that you have administrations. Right. You know, that was what I was gonna, my point. I'm glad you. So, can you yeah. break down the difference between economical structure and, and administrations? administrations? Right. Like break it said, down, Yanga. Like you said, it wasn't socialism or communism that 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 said go carve up Africa. It was immoral Europeans. It was wicked Europeans. So it's the same way with if you're using religious, for example, the Christians would use. You know, you got uh, they're Christians or black Christians, and you got the Ku Klux Klan. You know what I'm saying? So in any philosophy or ideology, if the people are immoral, that philosophy and ideology, you can get some people who study ancient Africa down to a T and be some of the worst corrupt, tyrannical people in the world misusing and exploiting us through African culture. And we've seen it through the so-called religious bases, you know what I'm saying, in these religious groups. So what we're saying is we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because some Caucasian came and saw Africans living communally and understood that and got a grasp on that and went back and broke it down to the way Europeans were going to understand it and used it. What makes us foolish is that they came and took our system, used our damn system, and come back and colonize us. Communism? Hold no. on, hold on. In, in hold communism, on. In, 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 in any communism? system, in democracy. <clears throat> oh, what in, yeah. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. In, 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 in our democracies and everything. Let me see, and, and then I'm going to be brief in this, and I want to say that to, to free thought. Yeah, to free thought. Capitalism is not synonymous with democracy. 
So let me say that. I am Boys, a democratic socialist. I believe in the will of the people and the right of the people to vote. A lot of times when they hear socialism or communism, they think that we want to take the rights of the people. What we're saying, socialism and communism is empowering, especially socialism, is empowering the people. It is the voice of the people is saying all power belongs to the people. So there is a difference between capitalism and democracy. You know what I'm saying? So we are democratic. Right. So let me. Um, oh, is that I mean, mixing and we matching. No, it's not okay, mixing and matching. That's, we're putting together. Okay. No, yeah, I'm just saying. saying. Okay, you're doing some African <laughs> thing there. All right, okay, I, I, just, I want to just quick. say something to the young man that has <laughs> a son. Mukasa, that has a son that's doing an exchange program. Notice the word exchange program mm. between the USA mm. capitalist country and the, the wait, 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 yeah, and the tough. socialist country. What is the United States and what is Cuba really getting out of this? Taking brothers over here and training them for free. Number one, because when this whole concept was put to me, I had the impression that I didn't know it was exchange. <laughs> They're gonna come back and work for free. Of course, when we got the yeah. when we have the Recovery Act coming out right now through the Obama plan. Plan, and then eventually everybody's going to be taking this chip in their hand. In the future, we're going to have to have as many doctors and nurses to, to distribute this. Of course they want to train your son for free. That's not negative. We, in the United States of America, because this is something we didn't even lead to, we're going to always have the haves and the have-nots. Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Listen, okay. Let, me, let me finish my statement. Okay, I'm okay? going to let you respond. This is going to be question. really short. Look, socialism is good in a form. Because we all should be, uh, have equal rights. We all mm -hmm. should get equal pay. We all should have equality from the beginning, an uh, equal slate. It's never been like that from the beginning of time. And I hate to tell you, it's not going to be like that. Not putting no uh, negative thought, but being realistic since y'all want to be dealing with scientific and, uh, facts. and facts. But the bottom line is this. In the very near future, bottom line, we are working toward the one world government, one world system, one world leader, period. We're gonna need as many doctors as possible because they're gonna put that little chip in your hand and your son's gonna be one <laughs> distributing it. One okay, Mukasa, hold on, Mukasa respond to that. It's called an RFID uh, chip if so, so, we need so, so, to so, so, pull so, so, it up. So, so, so. I just wanted to take it on another no, level no, right there. Okay, you did take it to another level. You took it to yeah. another level. High level of confusion. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I'll explain to you. Uh, one, uh, Cuba is a socialist country That's right. that educated people from around the world free. Mm -hmm. And that uh, they have 350,000 doctor army that go around the world and solve major health problems all over the world free. That's right. And they take people's children from around the world, train them to be doctors, and send them back to solve and work on health problems. Um, my son studied in Cuba, and it's a one-way exchange program. Only the Cubans, United States citizens, uh, under this program can go to Cuba and study medicine but Cubans are not allowed here mm -hmm. to go to these schools and That's universities right. and whatever. The United States still have a military embargo on Cuba That's right. mm -hmm. and trying to starve and make and punish Cuba. The otherwise, they are still waging war against Cuba. Mm -hmm. And I say that to say that uh, socialism is just an economic system. All we're trying right. to do is just show what we can feed, clothe, and solve our problems. That's right. And to you, young man. Yes, sir. Uh, it wasn't white people that came and did the crimes in Africa. It was the colonialists, and they were all under the influence and control of the capitalist imperialists. Mm. Mm. And that the capitalist imperialists must be our target because if we destroy capitalism and imperialism, we can solve the other kinds of racial problems that we face in the world because this racism that we see white people doing in America, that's promoted by the capitalists. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that not only they promote this racism, but in Nigeria, they use the houses against the Igbos, against the right. uh, Yorubas, mm -hmm. and all the other people, and they practice racism against their own people, and that's what happened in Rwanda and Burundi. They used racism and promoted racism against one group and the other group that led to major genocide 
against the people. So racism exists throughout the world, but if we destroy capitalism and imperialism, That's right. we can solve the human problem Absolutely. that people have. All we're talking about doing is giving people the basic things that they need, food, clothes, shelter, lights, gas, water, education, and medicine, mm -hmm. without them being in debt to get it. And that all these different terms we're using, we're just talking about how can we serve the people That's and right. make the world better for the people. Right. And we know that the United States, under capitalism, has killed the native people of this That's land. Right. Black they people. have killed over 100 mm -hmm. or 200 million Africans in Africa. That's right. And wherever they scattered, they have worked us for nothing. And they're still doing and committing crimes against the people. And the only way you can stop them is revolution. It's revolution. That's so right. You got to get that call. Let's, let's get the call. Caller. Yes, sir. Call yeah, I'm get All the calls. We, yes, sir. Call <laughs> we, we learn from each other. Peace and blessing, black son. Uh. Black Peace black. and blessing. Yo, you got to say Yang or two, Peace brother. and blessing. Mr. Yang. Sister Flanagan. And I don't know the other two brothers, <laughs> but I just want to piggyback on about Cuba. Uh, Castro gave 10,000 scholarships to Minister Farrakhan, the nation of Islam, to educate them in medicine. So I just wanted to put that out there. He write about Cuba. All right. And, and peace. Peace. Let me say peace. Peace. But let me say this too to address what, because I am a socialist and I don't want it to get too, 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 too far off the thing because right. I am a nationalist too. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So. In our effort to do humanity, we want to see humanity treated fair. We want to see, um, you know, um, everyone be able to give their rights, you know, to have their human rights and stuff, the right to existence. Mm -hmm. But my primary concern at this particular time are Africans and people of African descent over here in America. Right. And why I say that socialism has to be something that's put on the table for us to really examine, like me, like I said, I must, you know, practice scientific socialism and Kumism, Toryism, is because, um, you know, we have to, as, as nationalists, we're not at a point where we can throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, and I understand what a lot of my national brothers say, well, you know, that's a Caucasian or that's a this person right. and we're not going to mm -hmm. take that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the truth to an extent. So it's the, the truth to an extent. Devil, let me ask you, the do, white man the devil? Do I, believe, do, do I believe, yeah, I believe his characteristics is the dev devilish characteristic, but here it is. I don't believe, it's like, if, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to history. They say Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, right? Which he didn't. Okay, but I'm just saying they say he did. Or give me an invention Good that a give me an invention tires. that a Caucasian stolen invented. Rubber from, from, from well, right. stolen rubber. Right. But right. stolen rubber. Oh, is, is Castro a billionaire? No, hold on. Let me let me oh, let me answer oh, this. Oh, let me answer this wait. question. Let me yeah, answer this no, question. No, no, he's not. Let me answer this question. Let me let me finish my thing. So I'm if it's like if Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Because a Caucasian invented the light bulb, what we gonna go start living in the dark? <laughs> right, you know right. What I'm you can't throw out the yeah, baby yeah. with the. Think about it. I'm just using yeah, that for right. an example. Yeah. Or any. So the Caucasian ain't invented nothing. Yeah. You mean tell me he ain't invented nothing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You my That's man. Not the point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let That's what I'm saying. Hold on. You my man. Now you being Johnny Carter for the white people. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm, not, no, no, no I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm being. I'm being yeah. a practical nationalist. No, no, no what it is, I can't let neo nationalists throw us into the Stone Ages. Everybody got these. We got to call her. Hold on, we got to call her. How about it? You go amongst the Moors. You know, they had they had street lights. Yes. This is before that. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, I, so that's why I use it as hypothetical. I didn't use it as real. Yeah, that was a hypothetical. Call it. We can't hear you. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hello. We can hear you. How you doing, brother? Black Power. Brother African. Black Power. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, my question is. Uh, I have a two-part question. Is what's the origin of atheism? And okay. uh, and it also should be noted that any ism is bad for our culture. Okay, Uncle, I'm gonna let you answer that question. Where what was the, the question? The origin of atheism. The, the origin, the, the origin, <laughs> <laughs> the origin of atheism, right, goes back to the Greeks. Okay, when you talk about Aristotle, Socrates, uh, you gotta read the book *Stolen Legacy* by George G. M. James. Okay, and he talks about these Greeks coming back uh, to At Athens. Okay, and they start to teach. Okay, and they literally, to the people, the government, the Athenian government was like, "Wait a minute, y'all teaching a false doctrine. Y'all going against the gods of Greece." 
Okay, so they enslaved them, they murdered them, they chased them out the country. But what they called them was atheos. Atheos, anti-God or anti-Greek God. Mm -hmm. They say you're going against that. So the question is, well, where did they get this doctrine from? Where did they get this information of learning? They got it from the Africans. Okay, so, the, so whenever you come around people giving clear information on how to build civilizations, clear em information about the cosmos, sociology, uh, mathematics, science, arithmetic, they'll say you don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. So when I say I'm a black atheist, what I'm saying is I don't believe white people. You know why? Because I don't need to. Because everything that we have in our culture teaches us how to be. I don't need to go back to someone else's culture to learn how to build civilization because we built the first civilization. Now, sister, how do you feel? Because you come from Irish heritage. <laughs> Represent, funny. how do you feel about what you just said? Before I even... No, no, no. Um, you, okay, before, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you should go by. Before... Hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Don't get that, sister. Hold on, I want to ask two questions before we even go whoa, whoa, there. Wait, 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 I asked a question. Okay, what's your question? <laughs> no, I mean, first, first, first right, right. question I want to ask is, is Castro a billionaire? It's yes or no answer? No. Okay. Yeah. Castro, is Castro a billionaire? Mm -hmm. No. No? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's ca just yes or no real quick. Absolutely no. Ca if he okay, a is he a... He got uses, money. He, he uses money. billions to educate the people. Castro, he controls billions uh, Is Castro a billionaire? poor people. Okay. You run a country. No, you're not. That's all got I wanted. Money. That's all. I was talking no. about him as an individual, nothing okay. about the country or anything. No, yeah, That's all I wanted to know. Okay. 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 What's your? <laughs> okay. Now let me. Uh, okay. All right. Let me just say this real quick about the socialism. Number one, I believe socialism is good. You know, when we want to do wealth distribution, everybody eat freely because in the end time, we're going to have to join nations and help each other because, you know, once the government, the only problem with socialism is just like when you get food stamps today. They mm -hmm. decide That's when you're going to get so your food stamps. They decide if they want to change it. They decide how much allotment you're going to get, mm -hmm. no matter how much they... Who want to live on a survival needs? Mm -hmm. so, who so, wanna, who, who, so what you wanted to talk about is the administration. Gang, gang is who wants to live on a survival needs? Number one, the disadvantage to living in a socialist economy, number one, is there's no advantage, like I said before, in working hard. There's no incentive to even participate real socialism. Your concept is it's beautiful. All those no, things no, you gave, but real socialism is just one step beyond communism. One very, very thin line, just like they said, it's a thin it's line a between step love. Before it's, communism, it's a, it's a, yeah. But it's a step beyond. When I say beyond, communism. hold on, don't cut me off, yeah. please. Like you told me, don't cut you off. Don't cut me off. Because I only have two minutes to talk. Number one, it relinquishes truly your individual liberties. No, you don't have the competitive mindset. That's not true. No, truly. Truly, you really don't. It makes okay. you complacent. It's just like what? black girls that get food stamps. Because if I know <laughs> I'm going to get $300 a month in food stamps and I go and work 20 hours. See, I have to ask myself, what's more important? This little 20 hours that I'm only going to get $7 a hour for, like you said, and get $140 a week, plus by the time they take out my taxes, that's only $100. Times four, that's $400 a month. Why, how can the world can I live on that when I can get okay, Section so 8 food stamps Medicaid yes. is the same concept of socialism. No, That's okay. where allotments really no, came from. Okay. If you really look at the real true picture of what socialism really is versus communism, there's no freedom whatsoever. That's freedom of the mindset, because that's what I'm talking about here. When we talked about ideology in the very beginning, I'm talking about the mindset of okay. complacency and creativity. Okay, we're going to go with Unk, um, okay. Yanga, and then, oh, no, like, Mukasa and Yanga. One last okay. thing, okay. though. Oh, no, Wendy, no, no, no. Wendy. Sis, 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 okay. sis, 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 sis. Hey, that sister's sis, 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 making some good points, though. Yeah. Well, you got to have you guys have some, all right, got to have a bundle. Go ahead, 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 go ahead. Now, what I want to do is I want to come to the book, uh, following the quotes, uh, the following quotes by communism, socialism, capitalism, is from the book, uh, 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 Tying the Spiritual Knot, Africa, Cosmology of the Bantu Congo, Principles of Life and Living. Okay? Now, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to go to page 86. It says, whatever capitalism or communism may do in Africa by corrupting its leaders, Africa will never adopt any of these systems because none of them in all their betterment can fit well in Africa. 
The African future will be built on its own norms, values that are deep rooted in its own systems, which are, un which are unfortunately unknown by the great majority of the leaders of our African kinship. That's a system. Let me finish. On page 87, it says capitalism, right? on a national level is a system whereby the work of the majority of people produce the wealth for the few individuals who are owners of means of production. On an so international true. level, capitalism is a system by which the world's developing countries provide the work of raw materials to make the wealthy majority gain. In other words, the slavery of man by man is a basic source of capitalism and yes, its expansion right. in the world. The capitalist view is different from the communist, the communistic one. Watch That's this, right. communism, right? On the contrary, is a system that tries to control in the name of the state, the wealth and the land, right, on a given country, pretending equality amongst the citizens. These two systems, capitalism and communism, socialism, are by all means in the African view equally imperialistic systems. These two systems are the cause of the world's insecurity because of their superficial antagonisms, because of the lack of their mutual understanding. They are destructors of international institutions, and above all, they are killers of world orders and its leaders. They are indeed, right? The word is OC de moon and plume, birds of the same feather, whatever their tensions are. Neither system lives without their hand on a gun because they only owe by the art of killing. So I'm saying these are death calls and they proved it. Okay, so I, I, I'm going to have both okay, of y'all. Uh, which yes, one are we going to? Yeah, I go ahead. Speak to very quickly. Yes. I think yeah, what yeah. you said was excellent, young man, mm -hmm. and I agree with you 100%. And that uh, when when Russia and, and, and other countries in you, the West, Eastern European countries were in Africa, each one of them had their own agenda. Mm -hmm. And it was Sekou Toure that put Russia in its place and mm -hmm. kicked out the imperialists. That's right. So Sekou Toure now come, he make it clear that he's a Pan-Africanist and that he will only use anything that would benefit Africa, whether mm -hmm. it's from Russia, Europe, or anywhere else, but if not in the interest and the benefit of Africa, we'll kick it out and won't use it. But all we're trying to do again is to create the African personality, like you just said, mm -hmm. and use the resources of Africa to solve every social, economic, right. and political problem that African people have in the world, and we'll do it from our own African personality. Right. And finally, right. I would say to you mm. that even though we're here talking about atheists, and my main atheist brother right here, he's, he's now, the only thing what he's saying is that he opposed people forcing religion mm -hmm. and other That's kind right. of things on Africa and on the African personality, and that the Arabs use religion to enslave Africa and steal right. and dominate our country. The European Christians That's came right. to Africa with Jesus in the Bible, <laughs> left us with Jesus in the Bible. <laughs> they stole the diamonds, the gold, the oil, the silver, the yeah. copper, and this is what we're objecting. Right. But at the same time, we're not coming here objecting uh, uh, Egypt or Kemet or, or, or the Mayotte and our way of doing it. That's part of the African culture. All we're talking about is that we want our African personality and we want to use the resources of Africa to bring the African culture out, to bring the African history out, to bring the African personality out, and to do things the way we want to do it and use it. And when we come to the socialist, communist part we're talking about, all we're saying is let's use the diamonds and gold and the richness of Africa where all African people will benefit from it. Okay, let's. I don't think we have no. Yeah, let's no, get that call no. and we're going to go with Yang and then the sister here. Call her? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like call her? Call her. Yes, uh, Pick up Africa. Yes, I, I, I'm very interested in the program, but I just find. I, how I find the argument back and forth, I just can't follow it. We just need to have some order so that we can hear each other. You guys, it's perfect, but my goodness, you guys are interrupting each other. There's no, uh, there's no give and take. So let the person finish what they're talking about so that we can read it. 
Yeah, he's listening to us. Go, go ahead. Yeah, uh, okay. I yeah. want to, yeah. Good thing. Uh, like a couple things I want to address. First of all, we have to be careful where we get our source information from. Absolutely. That's going to be the bottom line. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you're reading, if we're reading about socialism or communism coming from pro American anti communist books, of course it's going to say every harsh thing. That's right. I'm going to have to disagree with what you're saying, the saying that it. Uh, kills the incentive, it kills the imagination. In fact, it does the complete opposite. If you're tied up, if you're free, first of all, to me, my opinion, okay. food stamps, welfare, and all, that's not socialization. That isn't a, social, uh, a socialization program. Why? Because the amount of the welfare, the amount of the help that people get are controlled by capitalists. They're, they're, they're looking at how much their taxes are going to increase, right. how much they're going to have to pay. So it, it, is, it is the people who are paying for the welfare programs. and socialism, it is the responsibility of the state because this people represent, the state represents the people and the people elect who they want. So in welfare and stuff like that, our capitalist interest saying it, that's why you get the rich people hollering about welfare and that's why they cut this program that's and cut right. that program. So all of that is capitalist. In fact, in a socialist state, there is no need for a welfare program. You see right. what I'm saying? Because those things are free. That's the first thing I want to say. Secondly, it doesn't, what capitalism kills the initiative because it has our young brothers and sisters thinking that they're included in a society, I can participate in a society that had from the conception or the inception of America has not looked at them to be a part of. Capitalism was based on the backs of slavery. It went from to uh, slavery to feudalism and now into what we call capitalism and capitalism international was like what Baba called it, mm-hmm. imperialism. Mm-hmm. There is no winning for the black man in capitalism because we've been set too far no, back. For the people, period. For the people, right. period. But like you, you guys understand, I'm a nationalist, so I understand Mukasa mm-hmm. is a revolutionary, straight Absolutely. revolutionary, pan African. That's right. Absolutely. I'm a revolutionary, pan African, black nationalist. So right, right now, my problem: the Latino brothers got their stuff together. That's right. Uh, the Hindus, Asians. all these other people. What I'm saying about Africans, well, we have to study because we fall into multiculturalism. We start trying to free the people. We mm-hmm. start trying to be on equal sharing with the people. But we haven't empowered ourselves enough to be able to sit at the poker. We're still bringing drinks to the poker table. Mm-hmm. As African people, we have to empower ourselves enough to be able to sit at the table. Right. And, and lastly, I want to address, like what the brother was saying, I agree, I agree with what the brother was reading to an extent. I think what happens with uh, socialism and capitalism is that we look at the people who brought that's what the administration things. the administration like he's saying that it was brought by the gun this and that like Baba Mukasa said that these people had agendas that's right so anything you use like anything you use Christianity if you're a good Christian if your if your intentions are pure and this and that you're gonna use Christianity you're gonna find the most helpful parts right. in Christianity to help people because that's going to reinforce what you do. It's going to back up. It's the same with socialism. If you're a immoral, evil, wicked person, then you're not a socialist. Then you're not right. You're not a socialist. Thank but you. you will use the guise of so-called socialism, like Stalin did. Lenin's intentions when he came with that, when they overthrew the uh, the I forget the the monarchy of Russia at that time in the Bolshevik Revolution, wasn't to be a king or a tyrant over the people. Mm-hmm. But we have to read Revolution Betrayed by Trotsky. And he talks about when Lenin came in and started doing the purge and how the party became the party. People started serving the party and the party not serving the people. So there again, we're looking at individuals who got into the uh, Mm -hmm. ideology or took aspects of the ideology and the concept and misused them. You Mm -hmm. can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like my beautiful brother, uh, Baba Mukasa Dada said, as African people and as a uh, scientific socialist, just like, uh, and I want to read here, like Nkrumah said in the, 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 the revolutionary African personality in my conclusion. Nkrumah says that the, revo- the, the revolutionary African personality, quote, expresses identification not only with Africa's historical past, but with the struggle of African people in the African revolution to liberate and unify the continent and to build a just society. It is a pan-African concept which identifies us not by our language, religion, or color of the skin, but in terms of our goals, which are dynamic, dynamic, just, and noble. And basically, this one, the part I was trying to read, basically, in another part, what he's saying is, as African people, we're going to take anything mm-hmm. that can progress us and advance us, That's right. and we're going to use it. There are some, I don't know all the inventions that white people made, because I don't study them like that. You know what I'm saying? So or any people. But what I'm saying is this. Just because someone outside of an African ethnicity invented something, we would be foolish. That's right. 
especially if it can be used to the advancement and empowerment. Like somebody name me what African country makes guns. Mm. You think I'm gonna stop using a gun? <laughs> Woo! Dang it, yeah, you got him good. Let question, me ask this question. Hold on, hold on. Let me, because I, 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 everybody. I when, okay, here. all right. Yes, but I want to. We don't judge Christianity by the Christians. If you did, you wouldn't want to have nothing to do with it. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. And that you, you don't, by it is here, people that adhere to it are the ones that's messing up the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. But the principles of the religion is why people believe in it and follow it because they know that the religion itself teaches people to do good and what have you, all religions does. Question. So Qu even question. though the Europeans used it and misused it and whatever, but people basically uh, say that Christianity itself teaches us to do good and, and uh, is supposed to teach us to do good. Okay. And the white man, the Europeans used it to colonialize and, uh, and, and, and okay. slave okay. world. Okay. And when they okay. came and put Africa in slavery, they didn't give African Christianity, they gave them colonialism mm. in mm. the name of Christianity. So I'm saying that to say, you don't judge socialism or communism by nations who have failed Good point. Uh, right. socialism okay. or communism. You judge socialism and communism by its principles. And the principles of it is to do good for the people. Right. Let, me, let me say something. Hold on. Let me say something. No, let me let me just say this real quick. Yeah, because you didn't say much. Right, right. Well, but I want. I know. I haven't. Don't I, ask but her. I want. I want to ask her one question though, because I'm right. trying to see where she's. Just make the answer short. And quick. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Go ahead. What I want to say is that, as a black nationalist, black Pan nationalist, Pan African is an administration. So it sounds like. Unk's complaint and your complaint, definitely your complaint, is that the administration is crooked. So let me ask you this question because we're discussing economical structures. Do you support capitalism? I support the free mind to use your ability to the fullest and to get paid accordingly to your deeds, not some government force giving me so, allotment. So, so what excuse me, excuse me. So what me, economical not, structure does that fall under? Is what I'm saying. You got three in the world. I might got, have to make up yeah. one because it doesn't fall under capitalism. Mm -hmm. She's gonna make up one. It, it doesn't I fall under socialism, and it doesn't fall. I okay. believe in the unlimited potential of okay. God within. I do not believe that. See, I'm going to ask one question just to him, just a yes or no. Oh, so, 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 is, Mark, he, is Karl he, oh, Marx a socialist or a communist? He's all above. Okay. Car all Karl above. Marx himself said how people think, your quote, how people think is how they live. Mm -hmm. Number one, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Mm -hmm. If you think as a slave, you live as a slave. Mm -hmm. If you think you have unlimited, unlimited potential, you will get out there and work hard and drive <laughs> to get what you want. Now, oh, you can move right, to well, Cuba well, and, and work all your life. They're going to they gonna stay right here down there in Southwest Atlanta for the next boy two boy months. Boy boy See, I, I kind of feel the system a little bit, right? Okay. Because you know why? why? In traditional Africa, she controlled the marketplace. Oh. She was business. Okay. Remember, the land right. went through her, and she had the ability to issue it out kind of sort of, meaning Africans don't own land like in socialism and capitalism, right? right. Okay. The land belongs to... The state. No, okay. no, no, not that. It belongs to the people. Right. Meaning, but you don't own it, though. Let's not confuse it. Right. Meaning you, you, you pass it on to your children because mm -hmm. we all have a right, which she's trying to say, to start a business. Africa, we get money. Let's right. stop this. The gold chains in Africa, we sell gold. Nubia sold gold worldwide. So it wasn't like we didn't have money or made money. That's crazy. So I get what she's saying. We're very creative people, and we do want to bring our goods to market. I don't want you to tell me I can't do Like right now, if we was to walk to Cuba, we walk back in the 50s right now. Yeah. Driving a 57 Chevy. Hold on. Let me finish my point. So my point is Cuba ain't all that good an idea, and plus they're changing now. And we know Cuba's changed, just like China. Like you said, China don't really practice. Yeah. They, they, they change it. So I want to put this in before we end. Okay. And this is very important. Boom. Hurry up. It says, this is the book for Awa, the war, a, a warrior's character, because that's what we really want to be. Mm. It says, it is not accidental that during every epic in ancient Kemet, especially when things had gone a ruin, we would rebuild our physical material moments, monuments, by first taking a stone from the ruin, a seed to a new building. Seeding, just like when we, use, we, we used to make bread, we would take some of the old dough and use it to start the, the, the process of the new. It is that seeding process that we do when making bread because we know that the taste of the old bread that we used to eat was so good that we can guarantee that the new bread will be just as palatable 
if we take some of the old mm -hmm. as to start the new. There is a lesson to be learned there. That's why I don't use European systems. Watch this. It says the lesson to be learned is not that we discuss the discussion of history is important because we want to play the dozens and say my mother did something more than anybody else's mother, but rather because it is in the history that we can find the seeds to build into the future. History is not the past. History is about the future. It is about understanding the, the psychology of which we have to deal with. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Let, let me say this oh, real quick. Yeah. Right, let me just okay. say this real, real quick, and I'll be brief. First of all, that's a misunderstanding. Communism or socialism is not taking away your freedoms. That's right. what y'all first have to understand. It's saying that that the prop property is not properly owned. How can someone get some land in a tree and tell you, I'm starving to death, and tell you, that's my tree, that's my land, you can't eat that. Mm. It's saying this, that all of that belongs to the people. But if you have a home, if you make jewelry and you go to the marketplace and you sell your jewelry or whatever, that's your private property. Y'all got to confuse. Capitalism sets the wages for you can work hard. You can work hard, and a give capitalist an can tell you. Just hold give on, us an example. An example is over here now. Minimum wage. Who sets no, the minimum no, no, wage? No, no, the no. Give us an example. Yeah. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Close this out, Bukasa. Close this out. First of all, I would like to say that uh, Fidel Cuba. Is Sweden is my example. Cuba Sorry. Have, Cuba have the smallest people in the world, the most homeless people in the world, and Cuba as a nation is making a greater contribution to world civilization and world development than any nation in the world. Fidel is an example. And thirdly, I, secondly, I would like to say that when um, Muammar Gaddafi in Libya tried to unite all the economics, all the resources right. of Africa, mm -hmm. and unite Africa and build and print African money and have black money, African money on the world market where he could use Africa to solve Africa's problem and solve every black man's problem and help bring up the poor people throughout the world. It was the capitalist United States right. and Europe right. that went and bombed Libya and put Libya back in slavery where Africa would go hungry and starve for another 500 years. They're attempting to re-enslave Africa. So the only way we can be free <laughs> is make revolution, liberate Africa, and when we live, make revolution, liberate Africa, we can be free. I'm going to throw this in there real quick. They got to throw this in. But I'm going to throw this in there because we got, we got one minute. And the reason that Cuba, okay, the reason that Cuba and all those socialist countries are throwbacks is like what Baba said. The reason they in the 50 is an imperialist war waged against any socialist country. That's right. Oh, you know what's funny? You know, you know the fundamental mistake that was made here? Y'all tried to tell me, right, that it wasn't, it's only one way to judge Christianity, socialism, communism, and capitalism, and that's by the people. That's by African nationalism. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm going to say this real slow for you. There's only okay. one way to judge these systems, mm -hmm. and that's how the daggone people act. All right. I'm next exactly. week, we're going to deal with like administration like governmental structures. So y'all do y'all homework. We out. Peace. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that got to be made up, too. Black atheist. Religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Studied myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. God that you all claim that you all believe in. Make us believe. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show, so that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays, mm -hmm. studied myself right out of the pool. Black atheist, black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show, so that gotta be made up too. God that you all claim that you all believe in, make us believe. Black atheist, black atheist, black atheist. Black atheist, 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 black atheist,